Welcome back, everybody. We are here to pull cards for December the 22nd. I'm going to be pulling one card for each sign. So if you know your sun sign, that'll give you a little bit of information. If you know your sun, moon, and rising, that'll give you a little bit more. And if you know all your planetary placements, you can actually get quite a bit of juice out of a little reading like this. Thank you guys for entering the contest by putting a comment down below the video. I always love to hear you guys' feedback, whether we have a contest going or not. And let's see, somebody's got a lot on their mind today because I'm still shuffling. Usually by the time I'm done talking, I'm done shuffling. <laughs> Thank you guys for booking private readings and private Reiki sessions with me. It is because of all of you guys' support that I'm able to do what I love to do for my living. And of course, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. All right, are we done shuffling yet? Almost, I'm hearing. Almost. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All right, Aries. Knight of Pentacles showing up in reverse. This is telling me that you're doing something that is blowing your budget today and you know you're blowing your budget, you're probably thinking, well, I'll just fix it later or I'll make up for it later, okay? So this could be spending more than is in the budget or it could be um, not doing what you know you need to do to be bringing the money in. Bring in that money, honey. All right, next up, let's look at Taurus. Page of Wands showing up in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse is just telling me that you're hearing about something that uh, somebody wants you to accomplish or do that you're not really excited about actually doing. Okay, next up is Gemini. Page of Cups showing up for Geminis. This just tells me that I wish my camera would focus. There we go, that's better. Okay, so for Geminis with the Page of Cups, what we have going on is that somebody is letting you know um, how much they think about you, how much they appreciate you, how important you are to them. And I feel like this is somebody that is going to really surprise you to hear this from them. Next up, let's look at Cancer. Cancers, you guys have the Ten of Cups showing up here. This just tells me that you are doing something that makes you feel emotionally happy and satisfied today. In fact, whatever that is that makes you feel emotionally happy and satisfied, you may be stepping that up to the next level. Okay? <laughs> That's Cancers. Next up, let's look at Leo. Leo says Eight of Pentacles. Leo's, you guys are getting some work done today. Whether it's work that you're paid for or other type of work, there is some type of work that is happening today. For some of you, this could be some kind of spell work or magic. Um, it's interesting that she is holding that candle up so dominantly in this, in this card. And it does look like there's kind of some kitchen witchy type stuff around in front of her as well. So some type of work, it could be manifestation work, um, but definitely some type of work that is happening today for those of you who are Leos. Next up, let's look at Virgo. Virgos, you guys have the two of wands showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that you're having a hard time deciding uh, between multiple options that are in front of you. And really, I think the reason you're having a hard time deciding is because all the options are good. You're just not able, for whatever reason, to do all of them or both of them. So having a little bit of trouble making that decision today. Okay, next up is Libra, Queen of Wands. Libras, I think this is going to be somebody who's in your sphere of influence today. And this is somebody who has a lot of energy, a lot of positivity. Um, it's, I kind of feel like whenever this person walks into a room, they sort of light it up. They have this sort of magical energy about them that makes, that lights up the room when they walk in. Okay. Next up we have Scorpios, Scorpios, Knight of Swords showing up in reverse. <laughs> what is going on here? Hmm. I feel like there's something going on where we have uh, somebody who is more on the intellectual side that is that is running away, making a getaway. 
That's not normally what I would get with this. This is normally my stalking card, but I feel like there is somebody that is leaving our sphere of influence very quickly today. It's interesting. Um, I think that I think that they're leaving because they feel like we know a little bit more about them than they would like to um, talk about or be revealed. Hmm. And that's all that psychic <laughs> psychic abilities there kicking in, scaring somebody. Well, if they're leaving because they're afraid we know something psychically, then that thing that they think we know probably is not that good. Let them leave. Sagittarius. Let's move on. Sagittarius, you've got the Nine of Swords showing up here. This just tells me that you're feeling pretty stressed. Pretty stressed out today, Sagittarius. Uh, the impression that I'm getting is because um, there could be a lot of people <laughs> coming into your life very shortly and you're a little bit stressed about how you're going to handle having all that energy around you all at once. You can kind of see in this card like all these birds look like they're about to just land right on top of this girl's head and they're circling and making a bunch of noise. So I think there could be a lot of stress about just being around people. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. And that was who? Sagittarius. Next up, let's look at Capricorn. Capricorns, Six of Pentacles. You've got something going on today that has a very even give and take. And so if somebody is um, picking up something at the store, well, you're paying them to pick that up. Or you're picking something up and somebody's paying you back for that. There's, there's just something going on that is very, has a very even distribution. You're not being taken advantage of and the other person is not uh, being taken advantage of either. Everything is nice and even and reciprocal. All right, so that's Capricorn. Next up, let's look at Aquarius. King of Swords showing up in reverse for Aquarius. Aquarius, I feel like you may be feeling a little bit moody and a little bit restless today. That's really what's coming through for me, this moody and restlessness. You feel like you're being, um, like your style is being infringed upon. You're not able to uh, do the things that you normally would do, and I think you're feeling a little bit frustrated about it. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. Queen of Swords showing up in reverse. Pisces, there's somebody that you are cutting off today. Wow, three days before Christmas. <laughs> this person must have really done something dastardly. <laughs> so, Queen of Swords cutting somebody off, cutting somebody out. This is blocking somebody, not giving them any means of communicating with you. Um, and in cases where that's not possible, like if you're co-parenting with somebody and you'd really like to cut them off, then this talks about really cutting any and all conversation to a bare minimum. Bare minimum. Okay, but for most of you, I think you're actually literally cutting somebody off, blocking them, whatever it takes to make sure that they're not communicating with you right now. Maybe you just want to have a nice, peaceful, peaceful holiday. I don't know. All right, so was that Pisces? Yep. Interesting for Pisces to make that move. That had Somebody had to do something pretty bad to you. <laughs> That's all I could say. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for being here. I do appreciate all of your support. Everybody have a fantastic day. I'm looking forward to working with some of you in person or at least individually later on. And I'll see the rest of you on the next video. Peace out.